Hi and welcome to another Unity 3D tutorial series. In this series we're going to be looking at non-player character behaviour and create a project based on finite state machines. In it, as you can see here, we will be creating an NPC tank, that's the green one, and a player controlled tank. The NPC will be on patrol between the red waypoints until the player gets close enough. At this point the NPC will start chasing and attacking. When the player gets far enough away, the NPC will lose interest and go back to patrolling. A finite state machine is a conceptual machine that can be in exactly one of any given number of finite states at any time. A finite state machine is used in the field of artificial intelligence to define, among other things, the behaviours of computer controlled characters. It is represented as a graph with nodes that represent the states and transitions that define the path from one node to the next. Once a state has been entered, the NPC stays in that state until a condition on the transition is met. Here we have a finite state machine for simple guarding behaviour. If the NPC is in the patrol state, it will continue performing the associated behaviours until a condition is met on any of the transitions exiting the state. In this case, it is waiting until the player is a distance less than 20 away. Once that condition is met, the NPC transitions into the chase state. If you've been using Unity and think the finite state machine concept looks familiar, it's because it is. The Mac Anim system uses finite state machines to control animation behaviours. And it's exactly what we are about to use to define the behaviour of the little green tank. To begin, and if you'd like to follow along, you can get hold of this starter project file from my website. You'll see the link listed just below. This uses a lot of the assets from the tanks tutorial that Unity released a couple of years ago and I've repurposed them to use them in this situation. When you first open the scene that's called tanks you'll see this. So we've got a little green tank which will be our NPC and we have a tank that we can drive. It already has script on it. If you press play you'll be able to use the arrow keys to drive it around like that. The first thing we need to do for our green tank is to create an animation controller. So go into the project and click on create and you're looking for animator controller which is off my list here. Let me bring this up for you. Create animator controller. If you've used animation before in Unity you'll be familiar with this. We're going to call this our NPC finite state machine like that. To start creating the states double click on the NPC FSM and that will open up the animator window. The first state that we'll create is patrol. Right click in the animator window go create state empty then select that state and over in the inspector you can change its name. Instead of assigning this state with animations, we will assign it with behaviours. And over in the inspector, you'll see that there's an add behaviour button. Select that and we'll create a new script. We'll call it patrol and create and add that. That will create a C-sharp file called patrol in your assets folder that is now associated with this patrol state. And if you double click and open this up, you'll find a whole bunch of commented out code which is triggered by that state. Any state in a state machine has three processes that it runs at different times. It has an enter, it has an update and it has an exit. Enter runs as soon as the state is transitioned to. The state then enters the endless loop of the update. Update continues to run until the transition out of the state is triggered. At this point before leaving the state, the exit method is run. Back in our state machine behavior script, we'll find each of these methods included. The first is an enter. Let's take away the comments for that. The next is the update. Move the comments for that as well. And lastly, there's an exit. Let's also get rid of those comments. The other methods on state move and on state IK are used by the animation system. We're not doing animation in this case, so let's just remove those. We'll now build a really simple waypoint following system into this code. At the top, I'm going to define three values 
like this. So the first one is NPC, and this is to grab hold of the NPC that is using this code via their animator. And we'll get to that in a moment. Next, we need an array of all the waypoints so that we can loop through those and move the NPC around. And then we need to keep track of which waypoint we're currently going towards, which will be in this int called current waypoint. Now to get hold of the waypoints, because this is a scriptable object, there's no way via the inspector to send values through to this. And therefore we need to grab them at runtime. We can add an awake method, which I'll just do up here to this. And what it's going to do is set waypoints to find all of the game objects with the tag of waypoint. Once you've got that in there, if you just switch back to Unity, I'll just save it, switch back to Unity and have a look at the waypoints that I've added and you'll see that they're tagged with waypoint. So that's how the script is going to find them. OnStateEnter is going to run every time this state gets transitioned to, no matter what the NPC happens to be doing. So you need to consider what you need in here that's going to set up the NPC for patrolling in this case. Now, what I want to do is to add these. First of all, I'm going to grab hold of the NPC, which is our value that we've got defined up the top. Now we can get the NPC running this script using the animator object that's being passed through here. And I'm only setting this up just to save myself a bit of typing uh, as far as having to type this in every time I wanted to get the transform or position of the NPC. So that's just grabbing hold of that. Now every time we come into patrol, I'm going to tell the NPC that it needs to go to waypoint zero. So if it gets interrupted in its quest uh, for patrolling by having to chase somebody, then it will always go back and start at position zero and sort of recount again from there. So that's the state enter. On state update is going to run over and over again while the NPC is in this state. So this is where we're going to put the code for patrolling and moving around those waypoints. What this is doing is first of all, it's asking if there's any waypoints at all. So if the waypoint array is zero in length, then return because there's no point trying to move around non-existent waypoints. Next is doing a distance calculation. And this distance calculation works out where the NPC is in relation to the current waypoint it's heading towards. If it's reached the current waypoint within an accuracy, in this case of three, then it will go and get a new waypoint. And so it will update waypoint by one. It starts at zero, so it now it's going to go up to one. It then will ask if the waypoint is greater than or equal to the length of the array, it will set the current waypoint back to zero. So this will cycle around or count up to the end and then cycle back around and it will create a circuit of waypoints. After that is some code that will move the tank forward as well as make it face in the direction of the waypoint that it's traveling towards. First, we calculate the direction in which we want the tank to travel. And then using that direction, we apply a slurp. So quaternion.slurp is going to slowly turn the NPC towards the waypoint. Now you can modify how fast this rotation happens with this quantifier here. So at the moment, the speed of the rotation is set to one. After that, we then do a translate and we push the NPC along its Z axis, which is its forward facing axis. So the rotation is doing all the work as far as getting orientated with the waypoint. And this translate is just pushing it forward. And the speed in this case for our forward direction is a value of two. And that's where you can change it if you want to be moving faster. For the state exit, there isn't anything we need at this point. So we'll just leave that empty. So now let's save our patrol and we'll flick back into Unity. What we'll do now is on our tank, our green tank, we're going to add this animation, which is our finite state machine instead of an animation, but the process is the same. So we will add a component, we'll add an animator, and then into the controller part of the animator, we want to drag and drop 
our NPC FSM that we just created. Of course, there's no avatar or root motion to apply because we're just using the behavior system within this finite state machine to drive the movement of our tank. Now, with all that set up, we can press play. You can see that behavior working in the animator window if you select the current state that's going. If you can't see that, select the tank in the hierarchy as well. What this is showing you is that that update method is running over and over again. Now there's no transitions out of here to trigger anything else to happen except that this little green tank is just going to go around the waypoints in the order that they end up in that waypoint array. In the next tutorial we'll start adding more states to our finite state machine so that the tank can start shooting and chasing the player around.